Alright, I have some, something to discuss. So... Being a Warrior Cats fan for almost a year... Ah... Uh, almost a year. I have some next picks, or something I'd like to address about Star Clan. Everybody's favorite the dead cat clan. Now, what is it? What Star Clan I disagree about? Not the whole cats die. Basically, Star Clan is supposed to be cat heaven. How am I supposed to think that when they gave Broken Star nine lives, knowing that he was evil? That's my problem with Star Clan. They gave evil cats the meaning to oppose all five clans. Like with Broken Star, they knew that Broken Star is evil, but they still gave Broken Star the gift of having nine lives. And this is where it takes in the place that the living cats treat them like they are divine. Like, and they're not wrong, because the meaning of the word divine is supernatural. We take it to mean something of a deity, but the word divine means supernatural. Supernatural. It just means spiritual. It's another term for it. But, they treat them as they are deities. Gods and goddesses. <laughs> now, With that, we see Star Clan do certain things like turning the entire river to blood. They're able to come out during the day. Um, they're able to interact with the physical world. They are able to heal cats, like we see with Windstar in Mothlet's vision. <sighs> but. We've seen them make mistakes, so, and I have my own head cannon about Star Clan that I won't talk about in this video. I'll talk about how it actually is presented in the books. Not what, not my opinion of Star. Well, this is kind of my opinion of Star Clan, not my head cannon for Star Clan. Um, <clears throat> they gave Broken Star nine lives, even though he was evil, continuously murdered. Kits, which is against the warrior code that the original stars in Medicine Cats tried or made. And they have little glimpses of the future, of prophecies that must be fulfilled. But Broken Star's rise to power is the nine lives, because the cats will believe if you're a star you have supreme power over the your respective clan <laughs> now like now if you can argue it was yellow fang's fault for even having the kits and she wasn't on post to because she's a medicine cat which in some degree it is yellow fang's fault so i guess her punishment from star clan is broken star's rise to power but it, it still seems that they gave him power he still could have been a menace to yellow fang by being the deputy or something and getting their their star leader to <laughs> whoever <laughs> to you know 
like <sighs> whoever it would have been after broken tail did broken tail kill i forget if broken kill tail killed ragged star it was either broken star or broken tail which broken tail is broken star but um killed ragged star um yeah when here's something but then we have the issue of tiger claw or tiger star don't get me started on him it, it's just <sighs> really really star clan you gave him nine lives and hoping he would change his ways by being redeemed even though you saw in the future that fire star the one who's meant to save all five clans in Tiger Star fight. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> that created. That brought terror upon the clans. Tiger Star was evil. Now, now Starkiller knew that he was evil, because he told Goosefeather, literally told, what's his name, Pinstar, Pinstar, oh, sorry, Pinestar, why did I say Pinstar, Pinestar, Pinstar isn't even a leader, Pinestar, <laughs> to kill <laughs> to kill her son Tiger Kit he should have listened Tiger Kit is evil and if their medicine prophet cat is screaming about it Pinstar should have killed him But no, he doesn't. So Tiger Claw, because well, Tiger Kit becomes Tiger Paw, then becomes Tiger Claw, and then, boom, he becomes Tiger Star, and they let him. They didn't deny him not his nine lives. Yeah. Just let him in. I mean, the only result we have of this is Tiger Star and Broken Star go to the Dark Forest, Cat Hell. But that doesn't excuse the fact that they had nine lives when they were living. So. Yeah, the last one I have to talk about is Bramble Stars and Pasta, which is probably Ash for. I'm not gonna tell you any different. It is Ash for Ash for. To my knowledge, it is Ash for. Even there's just a little article on the Warrior Cats Hub uh, website that says Star Clan's accident or something. Ash for let in Star. It, basically, it's them talking about how Ash for sin having let into Star Clan. They let Ash for into Star Clan because he showed remor remorse for what he did. <laughs> You like what? Excuse me. I mean, none didn't know that Ashford would do this, but Ashford, do 
really? And Asher cut them off from everybody. That's bad. Star Clan was defeated by just closing off the, the dang moon pool. Uh, wait, what? Like, what? No. You. For now, the living cat helped to try to defeat. Possessed the gr 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 I said storm. Like, uh, my biggest issue with that is my biggest issue isn't so much with Ashfur. I mean, the channel was Ashfur, and anyways, he was evil. My main issue is Tiger Star. People can make it an excuse for Broken Star. I don't see Ashfur. I, I don't understand why. You know, that happened. So, you know, but that, that happened. Then, we have Tiger Star, which is unexcusable. Anyways, tell me what you guys picked down in the comments. Was it good of Star Clan <laughs> to give <laughs> these cats second chances? Or not let them in the Star Clan. <laughs> Goodbye.